Let's look at some examples of oxidation reduction reactions. Here's a common one, the rusting of iron. Now, it's interesting to note, simply putting a, a nail made of iron in pure water, that won't rust. You actually need the presence of dissolved oxygen. So here's the actual reaction. Oxygen and iron reacting in water to form the oxidized iron and reduced oxygen. So let's identify the oxidizers and reducers here. Oxygen is in oxidation state zero in its elemental state, and it goes to oxidation state minus two. So that's a reduction from zero to minus two. Iron is in its zero oxidation state. Its oxidation number increases. That's an oxidation to plus two. So to help us balance this, let's go to our table of standard reduction potentials. So we can find on our table of standard reduction potentials oxygen and its reduction to the hydroxide ion. And we can find our iron being reduced, in this case, iron ions reduced to iron metal. We can use those two to help balance this reaction. So let's do that. I'm going to bring over my half cell for the reduction of oxygen and my half cell for the reduction of iron and their half cell potentials. And then I'm going to balance, and the way I'll balance this is I'll multiply through by 2 here on the iron, and I'll reverse it so it's an oxidation. Now I multiply through by 2 so that the electrons are canceled, and I'll reverse so I form an oxidation and a reduction, and I'll change the sign of my reduction potential. Now I can add these two together, and the result is the oxygen and the iron metal, forming the oxidized iron and the hydroxide. The overall potential I can get from the sum of the half cell potentials is 0.81 uh, volts. I can write down the cell diagram because I know the reduction reaction and the oxidation reaction. Now I notice something interesting. The cell potential for the oxidation of iron is 0.81 volts. If I look back at my table of reduction potentials, I can see that if it were zinc or magnesium that were being oxidized, the potential would be even greater. These are farther down the table. So if I had a combination of iron and zinc, it would be the zinc that would be oxidized first, because that would be the greater potential. So what we have is you can use zinc and magnesium as sacrificial electrodes for iron. They'll protect the iron from oxidation. So, and you know this, we coat iron nails with zinc. And we coat them with zinc because the zinc will oxidize first and protect the nail. And boaters that have propeller shafts on their boats that extend into the water, they'll put a zinc electrode, just a hunk of zinc metal, on that propeller shaft. Because that zinc metal will oxidize first, it has the greater potential, and it will protect the iron parts of that boat. So we can see that standard reduction potentials and our analysis of rusting of iron help us predict how to protect metals from oxidation.